Hi, it's Dr. Brenda, Money Coach. I realized I haven't walked you through my entire setup and today it's it's uh, hot and steamy. I've been inside most of the day. So it seems like a good time to show you how I've uh, got my RV set up and we'll take you through the outdoor space first. So this is my catio slash patio perfectly compatible for both humans and cats. So I have a separate video on how I rigged up my uh, cat system. And right now I have the window closed. Uh, that means the catio is closed. So the cats are all inside. Um, it's interesting, I got quite a bit of feedback when I posted this catio about how the cats would escape or rip it up and um, you know, I know my cats and I've trained them in the gazebo, so which has a screen and I've got a little squirt bottle there. So if they misbehave, I squirt them, but so far, no problems. In fact, they've been very, very timid, uh, more inclined to hang out on the ledge on the top than actually come into the tunnel. So they like their high places. This is day number two of the setup. I'm waiting on a, a much more comfortable chair recliner, which I should have on Wednesday. So i um, looking forward to making it more comfortable. So that is my outdoor space with this campground. Not much of a view here. There's a, ah, uh, looks like almost a trash pile or something by me. Um, so not real attractive on this side. It's a smaller campground at Devil's Backbone a Brewing Company. So the brewery is about a five minute walk. Um, of course, during the coronavirus, they have all kinds of restrictions. So not nearly as active as one would expect, but I've got a fire pit. I can get wood for five bucks if I want. I can buy ice. Uh, I've got my bicycle locked up to the picnic bench and I'm going to um, add a motion monitor to it so that if it suddenly moves i'll be alerted to it and an alarm will go off speaking of alarms this is my ring system so i simply slide it up and um, pull it inside when i am traveling and then when i get to where i'm going i take it off and it's all set up it's all hooked up to my wi-fi so i can i get notices when something uh, goes by or if somebody tries to mess around with my catio or try to get inside, um, I will be alerted. And for those of you who have been following my, my journey, this is my dream big rig. It's also known as Goldie 17. And everything was brown and beige and tan. And you can guess from the, the paint job on the door, that is no longer true. So I'm gonna take you inside and show you around. So this is what it looks like now that I'm living in it. Uh, that is Coco, featuring Coco on the Ottoman. And uh, the first thing is the brightness of the color. I've turned all the lights on so you can get a good sense, but all of the cabinets were deep brown, um, like, like this. So I, I've spent a lot of time redecorating, remodeling this place and making it um, homey. So it is um, light. I, I really like the, uh, the vinyl tile that I've added. And I used a color called Ocean Boulevard from uh, Home Depot that really adds a nice rich color to it. So when I'm parked, I've got these um, heat shields on the front and on the sides. So that helps keep things a little bit cool. Uh, in terms of storage, let me tell you a little, a few things that I've added. Uh, the back of the seats. I'm like, this is a perfect location to sort of put some of those uh, items that I use all the time. Water bottles, but also there's flashlights and some safety things, umbrellas, things I can easily grab, bug spray things of that nature. Uh, if there's a space where you can find storage, take it. I created this for the back of my monitor, this ledge, uh, just to give myself a lot more space. So I have the whole desk now to work with. This was a dinette. 
took the dinette out and converted it into a desk. I have a ledge and let me show you this because I wanted something special. So I got out my wood burning kit and I burned this into the side of my, into the ledge, into the top. And that is my daily reminder to be brave. Whatever comes up, comes up, I will handle it. Each of these cubes has a cat house on the bottom. So far, Coco's the only one who has uh, managed to nap in one of the cat houses. Hopefully they will find it uh, to their liking as we go along. Typically when I'm in this, when I'm not using the catio, I have the little cat tower, the one that you can see in the catio. I use, I bring that in and uh, that sits in the corner here. Lots and lots of attention given to the cats. The Ottoman is actually a storage bin. So I have all the extra pillows and blankets uh, for when I have guests, when that day returns where I can have guests. This couch uh, comes out into a, a nice size bed. Um, also, the this is the entertainment area. And I've uh, added, put some more things in there. This is where I've, I've added a printer. And this is um, a microphone for when I'm recording my the lessons for my courses. Some things really didn't fit anywhere. Uh, the cabinets, there's not a lot of cabinet space and the cabinet, the, the clearance is, is small. So I put some things in here like the Instant Pot, um, a little blender. So some of my household things are in here as well. Whatever fits, fits. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't go. It's That's about it. Um, I've got, I brought my, let me get this back in there. So I brought my Alexa with me. So she's gearing up again. And so this is my kitchen area. I added a little uh, a collapsible garbage bin. So that uh, collapsible, that is the big theme. Uh, my spice rack, I've got some spices out here. I have more inside. This is, has become essential. I've, I'm new to this and I've, this is my maiden journey. I was in a bit of a rush to set, to get out of, um, get out of Dodge, as they so say, my house sold and I was supposed to be out of there by noon and it, it, I was still uh, hitching up and couldn't take off until one. And in hurrying, I, I almost forgot to put the jacks up. So I started to make a list of what I needed to do to break camp and then what to do to set up ramp, uh, camp again. And then I've added a calendar down here. So I am going to start filling it in for the month of June. Where will I be? What time is the, uh, uh, what time can I check in? What's my, um, what's my campsite? So every, that'll help me keep organized. I added, I brought my little bushes, baked beans, magnet from home. There's a kind of a inside story with me and my sisters. And every time we visit my sister in Tennessee or we head to Dollywood, we we always have a good time at the Bushes Baked Beans Museum and factory tour. So what? Um, anyway, it's it's kind of fun. And that's one of my favorite photos of me and my child when, way back when. So you get a door, use it. So I've got uh, hooks here and um, a couple of items hanging on the hooks. Whatever I can do to use things for more than one purpose, that that is fantastic. This is my bedroom. Again, imagine all beige. Well, actually, this is the old walls. So not bad, you know, marble light, but a deep, dark wood. And then a horrific geometric brown, beige, tan um, border. So I ripped all that off. Um, there were also very ugly um, geometric, again, brown balances. So I, I removed those, left them off in the, in the uh, living room area entirely, which opens things up a bit, brought them in here. And so this is, again, much brighter and 
This is Dolly. This is Dolly's favorite hangout. There is a third cat somewhere. Um, I'm amazed how the cats can somehow hide. I don't know if you can see this, but I have a little box down here, and somehow the cats, my little rascal cats, Coco and Ginger, opened it up and crawled underneath there. And what's underneath there are all the mechanics of the slide. So I got them out and taped it up and then added some more. There's this double-sided cat tape, so it, it actually is sticky on this side. So now they leave it alone. But they managed to hide. So it's, it's astounding how they can find the little spaces. I, this is an area behind the bed. There's probably a cat back here. Anybody here? And I've, I've just have a little clothes hamper back here and a storage box filled with small box, small bags of cat litter. And this is, I wanted this to have an ocean feel. So I bought this mural, added this mural to it. And I'm really, really happy with the way it worked out. I, I uh, measured everything and I was able to order it to the dimensions. So you can see it kind of wraps around the wall and goes into the bathroom. I have a separate shower area. And this has worked out really well. So it's a perfect place for the cat litter. And I love my litter genie. I have three cats and I clean this out peri you know, frequently because I've got three cats. They like their clean litter box. So I clean it out a lot. And that litter genie, I don't smell any litter odor at all. So it's been really great. This is the bedroom window, which is hooked up to the catio. So I don't know if you can see that, but all I need to do is I open up, um, up, this is, I open up, you know, the window and then I pull the screen up and this is how they get in and out. And then when I want them inside, I can just shut the window, shut the other one on top and off we go. Dehumidifier. Everybody needs a dehumidifier. It's it's amazing how much water it's already soaked up. It gets pretty sticky in here. Uh, I have the AC running. Uh, I turned it off just so there's no background noise, but uh, it would be tough. And some photos from home that I've, I've added. So this is uh, most of it. Ah, the bathroom. So this is, let me show you the bathroom. Again, imagine brown and tan. And again, a, a very... Uh, brown cabinets and a geometric border. So I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Again, it's very light and it's small, but it's it's not bad. I got a nice little fan in here. There's a fan up here too. And so this is the little bathroom. And of course there's storage underneath. The It's not a lot of storage. Um, but there is storage, and then I also have. Well, I'll I'll show you a little bit. Let me let me take you. Let me show you the the uh, garage. Um, and I spent quite a bit of time putting my garage together, and hoping that I had the right equipment. So this was all empty back here. Uh, so I'm at the back of the RV, and this is my garage. So I added a water filtration system, and then I've got an expandable ladder, um, and a whole bunch of uh, tools and different things. I added the pegboard. So again, there was nothing back here. Um, um, and I think I did pretty well packing. I feel as if I'm probably going to get rid of some things, uh, certainly that chair is not as comfortable as I had hoped. And we'll see how it all goes. Uh, I got my slides, my, my uh, hooked up to the water and the sewer, hooked up to power. So there you go, my maiden journey. And I hope you, hope you enjoy the tour of my rig. If you like what you see, join my, uh, uh, subscri uh, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and Follow me and the cats along on our journey. Take care.